the synthetic vision is, is just awesome. Being able to see where the runway is when you're still in the clouds gives you lots more confidence and it makes it a lot easier to shoot the approach. I don't care how bad it is, you're looking at the numbers on the end of the runway, uh, it's just like daylight. You're looking at the center line of the runway. One thing that uh, was kind of a shock factor to me was coming in as you cross the end of the runway. And you see it flash under you like that and you know you're over the runway. I mean, there's no doubt about it. We kind of benevolently say every day is a VFR day in the G1000, uh, regardless of the weather, uh, because you can actually see synthetically where you're going. In the mountains, the Sinviz is invaluable. I went to Charlottesville, Virginia not too long ago, and of course they've got a significant little range of hills out just to the west of Charlottesville. I could actually see the mountains there on the PFDs. It's something solid that you can bank on and say, hey, when I break out at 250 feet and a half mile, there's gonna be concrete there I'm gonna be looking at, not the side of a hill. One of the first flights that we took had an organ transplant team on board uh, at night, uh, lousy weather, uh, low visibilities, uh, snow um, in the uh, IMC uh, the whole time. But we had the G1000 and it was a wow moment for us to get ourselves established on the localizer and you know find out that, gosh, the airport really is out there because you can see it. I turned the Sinviz off one time and did an approach. I turned it back on real quick. <laughs> it makes that much difference. It's a, really a safety feature. And all it has to do is keep you from sticking your nose in the ground one time. And it's paid for itself a thousand times over. What else can I say about synthetic vision? I, I don't want to be without it. Every day is a VFR day.